Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a really cool, fun video where you could be walking through Target and you see these colorful bottles being on display and like, oh, what's this La Roche-Posay brand and what's with these cool serums that are up on display? So the big question is how do we incorporate their three main serums? We all love hyaluronic acid serums for plumping and we love vitamin C for brightening the skin, meaning lightening dark spots. And then our favorite retinol for a bunch of different things that we'll talk about. I've been to the town of La roche and that's a town in France. We took a train out there and I got to try their mineral water that's under the town and they bring it up and they pump it up to the surface and they harvest it and make it into these great skincare products because it's filled with a blend of unique minerals that are great for your skin. And also the water tasted really good. It's a little thicker, milkier texture filled with selenium and other great minerals. And so now let's go through the serum. So How You Be 5. How You Be 5 is great before a big event, like before I went on the Today Show or going on the news or giving a big talk, I'm gonna use a hyaluronic acid serum. Now the Hyu B5 has of course hyaluronic acid and B5. B5 is panthenol or provitamin B5. That's a great moisturizing and hydrating ingredient that you see in your moisturizers very commonly. Hyaluronic acid, as you guys know, is a water magnet. It's a humectant that draws in water. It's probably the OG of humectants now, but glycerin is also up there and gluconolactone. And so what also makes this really nice is that this has metacastaside and the craze around centella asiatica is still ongoing and so metacastaside might have anti-aging properties as well i just love the smell of this i know there are people who are sensitive to fragrance but the smell of this reminds me of the start of social media it really is so it's very nostalgic so after you cleanse your face you apply this onto damp skin it really does retain all that moisture you got from your cleanse and it helps with hiding the fine lines and wrinkles in your forehead, the crow's feet around your eyes. And so I really like how you be five and the smell doesn't bother me at all. But if you do have a problem with fragrance, yes, these products do have fragrance. And so keep that in mind. This would be in the morning. You can use this at bedtime too. If you have a big event, you can do this before going to sleep. And if you're gonna use a retinol cream or prescription tretinoin, you can apply that over this in layers very well. Apply this and then follow up with a moisturizer to lock in the hyaluronic acid serum with the moisture so it doesn't evaporate and leave. And so you can keep that plump in action going. Okay, next, the vitamin C serum. I have not talked about this on my channel yet. This is a great vitamin C serum, great for beginners. It has 10% ascorbic acid, and ascorbic acid is an active form of vitamin C. This one has also salicylic acid and neurosensine. Salicylic acid, you find it mixed with vitamin C more and more readily because they actually play together very nicely. Combining them on your own, you could, but be very careful with irritation. La Roche-Posay has formulated it into a very gentle way where they work together well, where you get the exfoliation, the cleaning of your pores with the salicylic acid, but you also get the brightening effect with the exfoliation. I always say exfoliation in a gentle way is like polishing the skin and just gives you that little bit of that extra glow. And so the vitamin C serum is very solid. It does have neurosensing, which is great for soothing the skin, especially if you have acne rosacea and you're very sensitive to different products. Neurosensing is great for those with rosacea. Critique for it would be that it does oxidize quite quickly. And this is a pricier bottle. It's not super expensive like skin suit but it is 30 to 40 bucks is quite a bit for a skincare product that's one fluid ounce. And so I have to say, if you're gonna get this, put this in the fridge. I don't usually say you need a skincare fridge, but put this in the fridge just to maintain its integrity a little longer because it does oxidize quickly. This is a brand new bottle here. So I just wanna show you here what it looks like. And this one also has that unique smell. If you wanna use both, you can use both the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin C serum, but I like to alternate just because I don't like to mix the fragrance. This has its own smell. And so, you know, I like to use one or the other. I like to alternate. Some days I'll do vitamin C. Some days I'll just do hyaluronic acid. Some nights I'll use hyaluronic acid. Vitamin C I don't usually mix with retinol or retinoids because it can cause more irritation, especially this time of year when it's colder in the fall and winter. But if you're an advanced user, you technically could mix the two together. They don't deactivate each other or turn into time bomb if they do get mixed. But you do increase your risk of irritation if you do combine the two. Now, ascorbic acid, I like that they use pure vitamin C in this with ascorbic acid. 10% is usually a good start for those who are beginners to vitamin C, but you can go up to, you know, like 25% with Obagi and such. So 10%, great way to start, but just be careful with oxidation. You probably want to use the jar up within four months is my guess here. I want to show you though, this is a Vichy vitamin C and this 
is a great vitamin C serum, but I just want to show you when it oxidizes. Look at that. Look at that color there. It's more than amber. It's actually like brown. And so that's oxidized for sure. And lastly, we got the retinol B3. So retinol B3, this is of course retinol. It has gradual release retinol. And so it's going to be gradually released throughout the day. It's very gentle for those who are beginners. Now, why do we care about retinol? Retinol helps increase cell turnover, helps lighten dark spots, helps keep our pores clean, and also helps with fine lines and wrinkles by increasing collagen production. The B3 is nice niacinamide, which is our favorite ingredient. It's very versatile, helps regulate sebum productions, anti-inflammatory, it helps lighten dark spots or brighten the skin. And so I love that it's paired with retinol because they work together very well. Like niacinamide in my sunscreens, cleansers, moisturizers, but with the retinol, they just work synergistically together. So I'm really glad La Roche-Posay put niacinamide with this. So I just want to show you the bottle looks like a cool red color, but it's not actually red, it has that classic retinol yellow color. Now this one's also a nice one to go. So I'm gonna put this over the How You Be 5, and then you'd follow up with the moisturizer. And La Roche-Posay has great moisturizers. They have the Lipicar, the Cicaplast Balm. If your skin's very irritated and needs soothing, the Cicaplast Balm is good. Lipicar is great if you have eczema, great for body and face. You can get the Effaclar, the matte moisturizer if you have oilier skin, but you still wanna use one to offset the potential irritation you might get from your retinol. That's also a nice one to do. So I like this one a lot. This one, one of my favorite over-the-counter retinols out there. It's worth the price. Very nice to apply to my skin. I feel like it's also very hydrating and plumping as well. It works very well with your How You Be 5. To be honest, I actually do keep them all these separate in my skincare routine. And I usually use retinol at bedtime because sunlight can deactivate your retinol. There are photostable retinols out there, but I just like by habit use it at bedtime. So what I'll do is I'll wash my face, let it dry, and then apply the retinol serum over it. You don't want to put it on damp skin because the retinol could absorb too quickly into your skin and cause irritation, which we don't want, obviously, right? We want to be consistent with our retinol game. If we get irritation, we're going to have to pause our skincare game and then, unfortunately, we won't be getting the results as fast and the results being the lightening of your dark spots, the increased collagen production, which can take four to six months or more of consistent use to before you see the improvement in your skin tone, texture, that bounce we all want. And so we want to be go at it in a gentle way. When you start off on a retinol, you might want to start off every other night or maybe a couple times in the first week at bedtime and then increase to nightly as tolerated. Just a summary, this I use at bedtime after washing onto dry skin, not damp. And then you can follow up with a moisturizer. Your How You Be 5, let's point to the big guy here, big bambucha. How You Be 5, this big boy, you can apply morning and night after a cleanse when your skin is damp and then follow up with some form of moisturizer. Vitamin C, you can use it morning or night. You can use it morning and night and you can do this on damp or dry skin and this works well with other actives but be careful when mixing it with a retinoid especially a prescription retinoid i usually do keep them separate so i hope this video was helpful i hope it wasn't too confusing going over three different serums but i had a great time kind of comparing and talking about all three please drop some comments below to tell me your favorite serum and also please share with your friends who like serums anti-aging skincare please like the video and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys for the next video guys appreciate you all peace